Hey everybody, so this is in response to Tara Lee's, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce your screen name, but you're asking for a tutorial for uh, start to finish, and so I've brought in the Weeper character right here, SFB Studios, if you have other characters, they'll all be under here, SFB Weeper. Um, you can read this, it just goes through, you know, please rate and review. Uh, etc. Uh, these instructions are probably pretty old, so um, they'll work. But uh, yeah, they'll work. But but they might be relatively old. I no longer do instructions like this because uh, it was too tedious to do the updates. And for the most part, it's pretty easy to use the character. So um, this is just going to be how to use it in a game right away. So we're going to create a little uh, terrain. We'll just bring that there, and we'll make it a. Uh, negative 5 or negative 250 and negative 0, negative 250, center it up. Uh, and then we're going to bring in the Weeper. So under Game Ready Files and Prefabs, let's bring in the Weeper demo. He's there now. He's got this there, that's for his magic attacks. So I'm just going to hit play and we'll see him working already. So he's already working. This is what you would see in the game. Uh, if we want, we can move the main camera here, and we'll drag the main camera down to follow him, uh, and then we'll look at the animator. So this is the animator for the uh, Weeper, and you can see this locomotion loop right here. You can double-click that, and you'll go into the locomotion blend tree. Just as three, idle, walk, and back. Over here, you see um, the blend tree step, so that negative one value would be walk back, positive one value is one, so if you bring that up, then he walks forward. Bring that back, he walks backwards, and zero is idle. Um, and of course, you can go slowly as well and make him go walk forward slowly. Um, so another cool thing would probably be to add a bunch of cubes um, over here so we can actually see him walking. Forward and back. There we go. So now back in the animator, um, move that to one, and he moves forward. Oops. One moves forward. Zero moves back. And or next one moves back. There you go. Uh, click back up here for the base layer. Uh, these are all the animations. Now your animation controller might look different this, than this if you redo it or you add different animations or create your own animations or anything like that. But for the most part these are just done via uh, triggers. Uh, you can create new triggers up here. Oh, You can create when you're not in play mode. But uh, in code, just like you can code the locomotion values and just look at the Google Docs for anim animator controller for that, um, you can just trigger these by clicking on them and you'll do those animations. It's linked to all these. Any state will go to any of those. So statue end. There we go. So we can turn left. And we can turn right. Idle break. Got it. Pretty much whenever you want to do any of these, just call the um, call it, and I'll show you an example of that, and here's, we'll do some casting too. Cast one, start. Cast two, start. And this is a loop one, it's going to keep going with this loop until I trigger cast two, end. And I'll do the end. Uh, and then cast three, looks like this. These are cool. So. So uh, that's the simplest way to bring it into your scene and actually work with it. If you bring in the demo scene, uh, that'll be under demos, SFB demo scenes and the Weeper demo right here. I'm not going to save that scene that I just made. All right, once that loads, this is the demo scene. And you can actually see how I call the various uh, animations just by going into the canvas, this is the UI canvas, um, animation panel, we can look at the ground animations, and then you've got these right here. So I'm calling these via a trigger, 
an on click this is a UI button and on click right here this thing I got the uh, animator set trigger so you select the uh, uh, animator component right here and set trigger string and type that so again from scratch press the plus to add a new on click trigger you bring the Reaper demo in here select the animator set trigger string and type in cast one if you look at the animator again for the uh, statue the string right here cast one this is the trigger so set trigger cast one it'll call this trigger that's pretty much how it works you can do this via code as well I'm not gonna go through that um, there are tutorials online for you to do that there's community 3 dcom slash learn I believe that's what the URL is yes and we've got tutorials that you should definitely go through um, let's see documentation of course um, did they remove all the other tutorials oh topics down here okay um, animation and animator component go through this one it'll start teaching you all about that um, so definitely do that and then the manual of course uh, or you can just whoops or you can just google this is why I do uh, unity 3d and then animator scripting and then hey look at that API for the scripting so you've got all the API's right here and how to call them such as set trigger all you have to do is call set trigger with the string name in there and it will call um, just like this right here so in string name that would be name in quotes as it's a string so there you go uh, I hope that helps let me know if you have any other questions thanks